Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my spiritual oasis here where your souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. We are doing a reading for you today. It's a career-ish, money path-ish reading that's really channeled through your higher self. So it's a higher self message connected to your ears of life reading. Of course, you can watch that full thing here on my YouTube channel. But in your area of life reading, your guiding energy was fury. And the message that I was getting from your reading was that you were slowly dying. You were dying a very slow death with a career that was very monetarily fruitful. And from everyone else's point of view on the outside looking into your life, you looked very successful and you're making good money, making, you know, have a good good career track etc etc but inside and your day-to-day -day, and the reason behind your fury was that it wasn't it's not it's too restrictive that it was a burden that whatever you're doing is a burden it's too heavy for you and too heavy in the fact that not that you can't do it you can't handle it but the fact that it's like your energy is Sagittarius it is mutable fire you need your freedom you need a level of freedom. You need a level of, you know, the Knight of Wands is your energy as well. It's connected to your energy. So what we're really looking at today is we're getting messages from your higher self on how to move from this burdensome Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, super restrictive, super analytical, like, energy and go off on a sojourn. With this page of wands so the page of wands is really guiding our journey today and of course guiding our higher self messages through the page of wands um and where are we headed well our journey is to the fool so again that's freedom loving adventurous infinite possibilities point of view and perspective through the fool and the knight of wands which is your natural energy that you are the knight of wands Sagittarius you know you're robust you're action oriented you're a mover and a shaker with that mutable fire energy and so we're going on a bit of a sojourn and an adventure um and getting some some deep messages um from our higher self today so before we get into the reading we'd love to invite you to join the kindred family if you're not already connected by subscribing to my youtube channel drop a comment down below click like subscribe please um if you're interested in your own personal reading you connect with me on etsy link is in the description i curate all kinds of content on my etsy shop to assist you on your spiritual journey path so connect with me there if you're feeling so moved to do it all right higher self get some tarot messages first from your higher self what does Sagittarius need to hear right now from higher self as we move from burden painstakingly <laughs> to freedom flow and basically returning back to our Sagittarius, Sagittarian energy. Four of Wands. What is personally satisfying to you? So Fury, the bushfires message that we received when fire is out of control. So again, feeling suppressed, feeling rejected, feeling like you don't have an outlet for that energy is the reason why it flared up and it creates this fury type of energy because it has to have an outlet. So the question that your higher self wants you to ask yourself is, what grounds my fire energy? What is personally satisfying to me that feels you know it feels like I'm expressing my energy but in a way that is grounded 
what is personally satisfying or grounding to me from that perspective this could be related to something that you're doing which makes a lot of sense because well that's what we're talking about it's a money path reading career focused reading um in this almost personal reading so what can we explore that is personally satisfying two of wands we okay so i have my venus is in sagittarius so i get sagittarius i get y'all i get y'all um i should say us us i get us the two of wands here what can we explore that is larger than life <laughs> so as Sagittarius is we like to shoot for the stars for the archer you know the 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 stars aren't the sky is not the limit for us the cosmos are our limit Stars are billions of light years away, some of them, and yet we shoot for them. And we believe, because we have that Jupiter, Jupiter is our ruling planet, we believe that we can hit it. <laughs> the message I'm getting here is that you've been playing it too safe with the Knight of Pentacles. Our Knight of Pentacles is very practical, or it's connected to Virgo energy routine practicality how can we make this real versus your Sagittarius energy which is like what can I shoot for that might or might not be attainable it doesn't matter it's just really what I want is what I desire if you had the world at your fingertips with the two of wands what would you shoot for what would you go after without fear of being able to or not being able to quote unquote make it real five of pentacles what is holding you back from shooting for that star it's important to address this because I feel like this this fear is what's been holding you back it's what got you on this path, on this journey, on this course of tedium, where you thought that you, it would be okay. You thought it would be okay to do what your mom and dad said, or do what the world tells you to do, or to do the safe thing, to choose the safe option. But for you, Sagittarius, the safe option is not the safe option. You're not a safe option type of sign. This is, this is where we're headed here. You like options and possibilities, infinite possibilities. You like to shoot for the stars. You have a very gregarious, um, optimistic freedom and explorative energy. So embrace that. And in order to embrace that fully, you need to address the fears, the things that might be holding you back. Be like, well, I have to have somewhere to live. I have to have food. I have to, right? It's the tangible world that's holding you back. Okay. Okay. Once you acknowledge that these are the things that are keeping you trapped, then you can come up with options. You can come up with a plan to fulfill those things without trapping yourself. There's always more than one way to do something. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Again, fear, anxiety. Are there thieves in your camp? Are there people whispering in your ear telling you that you can't do something or that it's too risky or whatever, right? Whatever the messaging is. Is that true? Or is it in your own head? Which is very possible as well. And just because it's in your own head doesn't mean it's not legit. Doesn't mean it's not meaningful or something that you shouldn't think about um so address the fears and anxieties that you have internal and external lay all of the concerns that you have out on the table and then it's time to search within ourselves 
Once we know what will make us happy, what we want to shoot for, and what might be holding us back, it's time to go on our sojourn. It's time to take our light. So I love the hermit energy because the lantern, which has the star in it, your star, your star is lighting your path. It's leading you through your destination. So your higher self is just communicating that you have the answer. Let your light guide you through the darkness. One foot in front of the other. Taking all that you know, what you want to do, what's holding you back, or what could potentially be difficult. Take that with you. Because that's all truth. It's all yours. It's all your truth. And then we have the Four of Cups. This to me is a message about things aren't always going to feel exciting. <laughs> I know Sagittarius, I know. What is this preposterousness that I speak of? Things aren't always going to be set, set as, or things aren't always going to be exciting or fulfilling. But it doesn't make them less meaningful. It doesn't make them less of a meaningful part of the process. And I also feel like if you're chasing excitement, which to a certain degree you might be, if you're chasing excitement, you might miss the point. Everything isn't going to be exciting. The path isn't always going to be high octane. But that's good. Because we need balance. We need harmony. We need times to rest and reflect, just like the hermit suggests. What additional messages does Sagittarius' higher self have for Sagittarius? Pure intention, find clarity, surrender your ego. Mm. I think that's an absolutely beautiful, perfect message for you on this journey. Find clarity. I do feel like, you know, our front questions here to me is addressing that what grounds your fire energy in a way that's satisfying what do you want to shoot for find clarity in that what's holding you back you know what, what's threatening progress find clarity in that surrender your ego and really truly ask these questions and be open to an answer that you're not going to like. Hmm. The message that I'm also receiving is that this adventure might not be as exciting or whirlwind as you think it will be. But meaningful. Surrender your ego. Redocrosite. Remember your worth. Mm. You know, I heard this quote the other day. It was like, life doesn't give us what we deserve. It gives us what we accept. If you believe that you are worthy for a life that can satisfy your worldly requirements, your worldly needs, and maybe we need to address our worldly needs. You know, I'm an American, and so there's a huge focus on stuff, things, consumerism. Um, I like my share of things. Um, but... 
if you're on a journey where you want more freedom, then you have to release your burdens. So there might be some worldly things in your life that are just burdensome. They don't bring much value to you. You know, do you have a lot of things that you're trying to maintain? A car, a house, an apartment, a condo, or whatever, whatever. And you can potentially downsize or whatever. Find lower cost options of living or reduce your lifestyle. Reduce your worldly requirements in order to open yourself up to more options in order to free yourself potentially um what what is worth it to you remember your worth again i feel like this whole journey and based off of your areas of life reading this journey that we're talking about today right now is about you. It's not about what mom said, not about what dad said, not about what grandma said. It's not about what your school guidance counselor said or your professor said or your boss said or your friend said, your lover. It's, it's This isn't about them. This isn't about their insecurities and what they want and what they need and what they want for you. This is about you, what you want for you, what direction you want to take with your life. And so what's worth it to you? And I also feel like adding a time, time to that. What's worth it to you now? Potentially in the future, yeah, you want to own a house. Yeah, you want a dog. Yeah, you want whatever these other things are. Worldly things, tangibles. But maybe right now, they're not necessary because what's worth more to you is being able to travel the world or, you know, being able to live abroad or being able to whatever it is that you want to do that grounds your fire energy in a positive way and that is in alignment with what you want to shoot for, what you want to go after, what you want to explore, what you want to invest in. What's worth it to you? All right. And then... Get a final message from your higher self to Sagittarius. Final message do you have for Sagittarius connected to their journey from burden and monotony to back to themselves to that freedom loving, explorative, robust, energetic place? do you have for my beautiful Sagis? This feels like the hermit energy to be just reiterated. So the cauldron. I actually associate five, the number five in numerology to Sagittarius because our number fives are a Rebels. They're the rebels of numerology. They love freedom and exploration. They love experiences and travel. They are an odd number and they are proud to be odd. They do not want to at all settle for the status quo. They're always pushing the boundaries. And with 50 here, we have that five creative energy connected to zero as well. So again, the full energy that outwardly um, infinite possibilities, outwardly expressive, robust type of energy as well. So this card feels numerolo numerologically very you. Um, the cauldron really focuses on inner alchemy, mastery within yourself, spiritual renewal, consecrate, contain, rejuvenation, and discerning wisdom. Feels very hermit energy. Like if the hermit and 
Sagittarius got together and was like, let's make a tarot card. It would be the cow trip. <laughs> um, just to note that Virgo is hermit as well as the Knight of Pentacles energy. So if you do have Virgo in your birth chart, if you have very strong placements of Virgo in your birth chart, take a look at Virgo. See if Virgo is being um, controlling, possessive, or if Virgo is using their mutable quality to themselves in order to make moves. The Knight of Pentacles does move very slowly, mind you, but it does move. Um, so, I mean, I feel like, you know, your fire energy, you want to go, 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 go. You're very fast moving energy and the, and pentacles energy is very slow. So it could be kind of just frustrating to you, um, and energetically burdensome just to have to slow down and to pull your energy back. Um, but you don't have to rush. You don't have to rush it. Um, it's really, it's really about getting to the end zone. It's really about about reaching that place where you are connected to yourself you've mastered your own inner alchemy and that you've um you know this journey isn't just about a job or a career it's a spiritual sojourn for you as well and again your star your truth is lighting your path and so in order to light your path you have to find clarity and connect to your pure intention be a partner with spirit in this case we have a number two here so partnership with spirit we have the dove here we have um at least that looks like a dove to me <laughs> with the unicorn so it does feel like a collaboration it feels like two hearts beating as one which develops the star which develops the truth oh i love that message is so beautiful and this imagery though look at that i hope this is showing up really lovely for you this is really pretty all right my beautiful sagittariuses these are the messages that i have channeled for you today in your almost personal reading where we are moving from monotony and burden to back to ourselves returning back to our sagittarian selves our freedom loving infinite possibilities position um reevaluating some things in our lives and some of this is going to be work and tedium and some inner some inner workings um potentially some shadow work maybe even some root work for you moving forward um but the, the idea here is that you are returning to yourself and making sure that you're in alignment with your truth path and purpose so again thank you so much for your energy your time and i'll see you in an upcoming message bye